Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to show how I get mid-journey to correctly spell word and apply it in an image. I was trying this in version 4 and it worked a bit. However, with the release of version 5, which I'm really excited about, I did notice the same prompts worked even better. Just to mention, this will not work with every word. Some words are difficult to get the mid-journey bot to understand what I want. But let's get started and you'll see what I mean. So the example prompts that I used, this is the ones I started with. So it includes since I draw the word, write the word. So here, draw the word, write the word, draw the phrase, write the phrase, draw the words, draw the text, spell the word, or have that word written in text. Okay, so I noticed that spell the word worked best as a prompt, and then I modified that with the stylized parameter. Okay, so the stylized parameter can be modified from 0 to 1000. I tried a range and I found that 0 typically worked best. If you want more information on the parameters, you can actually find that on the Midjourney website. So they have a section, if you go from the Get Started menu, select the user guide and then select parameters from the menu. So I'm going to do this demo with the words dog, pure and flower. It's random, I just picked uh, some words. So this way you can see the different levels of difficulty. All right, so we'll get started. So for slash imagine, and I'm going to copy what I have. So I have spell the word, and I put the word in quotation marks. So the word is dog, D, full stop, space, O, full stop, space, G, full stop, and then I close the quotation marks. And then I have the stylized. So you need two dashes, write the stylized, stylized, and then you put zero. And then again, change the version. So again, dash, dash, B, and then you need a space and five. So let's run that. Then I'm going to run the other ones as well, and we'll see how they turn out. So this one is the word pure. So once I have to spell the word, when you want to use it to do different things. Like for example, here I put it on a fashion magazine cover or I said make a card. You can add more to your prompts to get what you want. So if the first run doesn't give you the results you want, rerun the prompt. I tend to rerun it a few times, usually about four or five times. And then I find that it gets tends sometimes tends to get closer to the image. And then also if I see that there's a word that's getting closer to what I want, I will rerun it. Just that variation. Or I'll actually upscale it and then rerun it from there. Okay, so for example, this one did not give us what I was looking for, so I'm going to rerun it. Okay, so in this one, it looks like the word dog is coming out. So that one is working. Let's see what has happened with pure. So flower, this one is finding it a bit more difficult. None of them are close enough for me to upscale and rerun just that, so I'm going to rerun the whole thing. Okay, so we got a few good ones for the dog. So this one is spelled correctly. I'll upscale that one because I like it. All right, so when I would say earlier about upscaling certain words if they kind of look correct, so in this case, like if you see this one, P-R-E, it's 
almost get in there, but not quite. And this one, P-U-E. So we'll try upscale and also do variations of some of these and see if it gets the word right. All right, so this one I will do. Okay, so it's number three. I'll do a variation of three. Click submit again. And I'll do a variation of two just to see what happens with that one. And also number four. And then what I will do, I will upscale this one and then do a variation. Okay, so I'm going to try and rerun this one again because there's nothing really that's looking like the word flower. So this one is probably a bit more of a challenge for the mid journey box. I went 500. I have to run that again and then I'll try it with 500. I have a lot to run in. Okay, so here we have with stylized 500, it actually turned out better than with the zero. Okay, so now we have the word pure and it did it twice. Okay, so I'm going to upscale number one and number two. And let's also try changing the stylized with flower. Usually zero works best, but it seems to be having better, well, not, I shouldn't say better, maybe <laughs> just a different, uh, results. Okay. So let's try 500 on the flower. I don't know if the flower one will work because I gotta say that one might be quite complicated for it. So we were successful with the dog and with pure. Now it just remains to be seen whether we can get flower. Over. <laughs> it was it was getting there. I quite like the image of this owl as well. Oh, this one was coming close. Well, I had most of the letters except the R. Okay, I'm going to rerun this one. And if I'm not able to get the word flower during this demo, what I'll do is I might just pause it from the video and then rerun it and show you afterwards so that this is not just a long stretch of video. Oh, look at this. I see F L O W. Looks like uh, it decided to go with an F. Okay, so this one looks like it's pretty close. Just remains to be seen whether that will become an R. And this is again at 500. So oddly enough, now that I'm doing the demo, 500 worked better than the stylized zero. Oh, here. Oh, I love this owl. Okay, let's make variations, see if this changes. Oh, well, that's interesting, whatever that is. See how the hands are better? Okay, I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Let me go back. I'm going to try and do variation of three. Because again, we're trying to get this word flower.
And I'm really liking how the version 5 is turning out. Okay, so this is just to show you. Oh, I think we may have got it. Although it wasn't a capital R. It looks like it's a baby R. Oh, sorry, <laughs> a little R. Yeah, but so this is what I mean. So you see how here you see it changed some of one of the words. So that's how I keep rerunning it because sometimes it will change it by itself and then sometimes it'll turn out to be the correct one. See here? We have an E. Okay, so this was flower. I'll see if I can get it to look any better than this. But I actually really like that. It's, it's so different. Okay. All right. So let me make variations and see what happens. Um, but otherwise, that's really about it. Uh, so if anybody else will find this useful, hopefully it can help you. Okay. So I came back because I just want to show you the time, how long it took. So I was rerunning it um a few times so every time i saw the different words okay so flower now this is the full thing let me upscale that it's number two so this would not be the scene i would set it in but this was just to show you how i get the words i would change i like, add more description for the scene okay so you see here as well this was another one um so i'll just scroll through so you can see how i got here See all the different spellings? It was from this one. When I saw it's more correct, I did variations of it. Okay, so to go back up, I'll continue showing you some more. Okay, so I also tried that one, but it didn't give me the R. And I abandoned this one because I saw it wasn't bringing the R. Okay, so here it is. Flower. Okay, so we had all the words. So this is what I do when I want to get text in my images. So hopefully that was helpful.